Hi everyone, welcome back and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to try to demonstrate how you can use a free plugins to analyze reference songs and use those references to mix and match to the tonal characteristics and loudness level of those reference songs. When we talk about reference songs, those are songs which are commercially mixed, mastered and released songs. We can use them as reference so that we can match our tracks, our mixings to the two of those commercially released songs. The hard way is obviously to use our ears and use EQ and compression to match it. Or we can use software that will analyze the audio spectrum and gives us a graph. We also analyze the dynamics of the song and that gives us a values that we can use to adjust our mix. The two VST plugin used to demonstrate in this video are from Melda Production. More specifically, from the Melda Productions M Free FX bundle, which includes lots of VST plugins. Although it's free to download and use with no limitation, time or otherwise, normally $76 Currently, November 2022, you can use this code here and Black Friday 2022 and you get 50% off. This way, you're not only supporting the company to further develop the product, you also get rid of the advertising banner that's included um, in the free version. So if you see difference from my demonstration to your free one, my one is a licensed version, that's why there is no advertising banner. And it does have few other advantages as well. So I would recommend it because the uh, M Free FX bundle includes all of these VST plugins all for free. As I said, there's no limitations or any uh, restrictions in use of it. But the ones that I'm going to use to demonstrate is this first one, the M Analyzer, to give us a, a tonal graph analysis of our reference track that we can use to mix our songs into, and also the Loudness Analyzer that will help us to analyze the reference song and see how loud it is, and we can try to match it, or give us an idea how loud our mix is and whether we need to make it louder or less louder, more dynamic or less dynamic. I will leave a link in the description where to download the Melda Production M Free FX bundle. Now that we know which plugins to use, let's start with M Analyzer to analyze the tonal characteristics of this reference rock song. This is M Analyzer, this is version 14.5. The differences between the licensed version and the free version is that you can also adjust the screen and there's no advertising. Otherwise, I believe everything else is the same. Of course, in this video, I won't be going to details of how M Analyzer works. There are a lot of features in there which is beyond the scope of this video. In this video, I'm simply going to show you how you can analyze it and at the same time, save the response as a preset. So you can use it over and over again without listening to the reference song so that you don't have to load your reference songs in your projects to listen to. But you can load the save preset and mix your song into it. So let's have a quick listen. Of course, you're not going to hear it because um, copyright strike. That's what I'm trying to avoid. But the song is... Strike. Yep, R.E.M. Losing My Religion. I'm going to remove that. So this is a detailed graph of what the tonal characteristics of this song is. Of course, you can also get sonogram as well. The sonogram will actually give you a more detail of where the energy of the song is. But let's put into Analyzer. There's only two buttons to use here, Averaging and Smoothness. Smoothness will get less detail as you move it up. And I believe probably about 5% is a good 
choice because you don't have too much detail, but you don't want to lose too much of it as well. And averaging, by default, it's uh, 400 milliseconds. Um, you can average out maybe to uh, five seconds as well. So it will take five seconds to capture the data and adjust the graph. And this is what we are looking at. Okay, that's what it looks like. So how do we compare this to, um, let's say, to a reference? Let's assume this song was our mixing song that we are trying to master and we want to match it to another uh, preset. So we can go into um, the presets of Melda Production and here you can actually see it's got few settings and compared to rock or hip hop or pop, more than jazz, there's some there. And there are also online exchange where you can download other people's presets and submit your one as well. But just for a quick reference, let's see if we can match it to compare to a rock song. Probably not ideal, but I'm just gonna demonstrate it anyway. Just double click it. And here, the red is what our reference is. And the blue or the dark red behind the red is what our song is playing. So if you wanted to match it to a rock song, which typically would be guitars, drums, and um, and so on, uh, lead guitars, distorted guitars, um, then that's the typical graph that's been provided by Melda Production. But how do we create our own one? Because we want uh, our song to match REM's Losing My Religion. So for that, I'm just going to Go to the default again. So it starts from scratch. Gonna remove that uh, leveling. And smoothness, I'm just gonna put uh, 5% because that's what I like to put, but you can uh, have your own choice. And for averaging to capture it, I'm gonna go all the way to 10 seconds and wait 10 seconds for the loudest part of the song to play and let the graph settle. Another great thing with Melda, Production, uh, Melda Productions M Analyzer that it also gives you uh, peak points of frequencies and notes as you can just hear, see, uh, see it at the bottom there. So that way if you do have any peaks in your mixing that could be causing a problem, you can use M Analyzer to detect and remove them in your mix. Okay. Now that we've got some level, I'm just going to click the copy button and then the paste button. And now we have a red reference. Of course, they're going to be pretty much the same because it's the same song playing in the background. So let's save this preset. Let's just stop playing the track. I'm going to reduce the average probably back down to, you know, 400 millisecond. I'm going to leave the smoothness at 5% and just go to default. And let's just create a new folder, call it rock. Okay. And here, let's add REM. And now we have a preset that we can use to reference and mix into. So let's choose another song even though it's not going to be, it's a pop song, it's not a rock song. Let's see if we can analyze, um, match it to this one. Oops, go away. And here you can see the song that we are listening to is completely different. It's got lots of bass peaks because it's a pop song. We can increase the average again to maybe five seconds. So we get slower response so we can see. So as I mentioned, here we can see how 67 hertz is really bass uh, for this song. Let's have a quick listen and see uh, what song it is that's peaking at 66, 67 hertz. Time, yep, I think it's Taylor Swift. Um, I could be wrong. <laughs> Too short to, to know it. I think it is. So as you can see, if that was our song that we are trying to mix and this was our reference, then we can use an EQ to bring this 
frequency down to match our REM's curve. And that's it. Of course, you can create your own reference. You can use um, other genres of music that you're trying to mix as a reference and save it as a preset. The next time you want to match your song to a particular genre of music that you already know and you created a reference to, and you can use it this way and match the tonal characteristics to it. Next, let's have a look at the loudness analyzer briefly. Again, I won't be going in too much detail, even though it has lots of features in there. But just uh, uh, briefly, it gives you a, lots of metering information about your peak, the true peak, short term, and integrated uh, LUFS, LUFS levels. And you can use it to compare it as well as set it to a certain streaming platform requirements and target values and levels and it will help you and guide you to achieve that so at the moment it's default and our target is minus 23 lufs um, so let's have a play and what we're seeing on the screen is the peak and true peak values which are fine but here everything is in the red because our target is minus 23 lufs obviously 14.1 LUFS above the recommended. So let's go into our presets. From there, I'm just going to choose Spotify, double click and close. So now Spotify target level is minus 14 dB LUFS. And here at the moment, it's only 4.5 LUFS above the recommended target for Spotify. So you can use these details to adjust your dynamics of your mix or your mastering to get as close as possible to the green one. Now, this is something that I don't use, but you can if you are stuck, is to click the auto gain. This will adjust the settings and the audio that is passing through M-Audio to meet the target levels. So let's click. So it adjusted 4.45 dB, the output level, to match it so you get the same as the requirement, which is minus 14 LUFS. Of course, this dropped the peak and the true peak. So it's not ideal. Let's just reset. The ideal way is for you to go in to your mix or mastering and adjust the compression level, ease up on the compression so that you can get a little bit more dynamics so it's not crunching it down. And that's it for the loudness analyzer. It's basically giving you enough information to adjust your dynamics. And that's it for today's video. I hope it, it was helpful. If it was, make sure you give me the thumbs up, like and share and feel free to subscribe to my channel. That way you get notified as soon as I upload my next video. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio, guys.